Hey everyone, today in this video, we're going to set up our complete admin template for our e-commerce website. In our previous video, we completed our multi-authentication system and we already know that in our application, there's going to be three different type of user. One is admin, another is vendor, and another is normal user or customer. For three different type of user, there's going to be three different type of admin panel as well. So today we are setting up the admin template. Next video, we will set up our vendor template and then the customer template. Okay, for admin template, we are using admin kit IO dashboard template. So in order to get that, simply go to adminkit.io and click on live preview and download and it will take you to the download section. Just simply download the demo version, click on download and it will take you to the page where you simply need to provide your email address and click on submit the order. And uh, as soon as you provide your email address here and click on submit order, they will provide you a link to download the template. Okay, that's straightforward, very easy to do. And after you download whatever you will get, let me show you that. You will get this admin kit main.g folder and just unzip it and you will get everything you need here. Okay, and inside of this static folder, you get all of your asset files and then 12 different pages which can come for free to use. Okay, if you run the index.html file here, how it look like. Let me show you how it look like. Okay, so this is the admin dashboard template we're going to use. It come along with the profile page, sign-in page. We're going to modify the sign-in page as well. And then a, a blank page. Mostly we will use this blank page and use different tools and components they provide us to create our own pages, whatever we need. They provide us patterns from scar, typography, icons, chart, and maps as well. That's pretty straightforward. Now, today's video target is pretty simple. All you have to do is we have to load this project or we have to load this layout inside of our admin dashboard. Okay. Whenever I logged in, let me show you. Okay, right now I'm going to log in using user at the gmail.com, which is assigned as admin, giving my password here and click on login. And whenever I log in, it takes me to the admin dashboard and it's look like this right now. But we want to load this page instead of this admin kit dashboard template. So in order to do so, all you have to do is we have to first of all load all the asset folder inside of our project folder. Let me do it. Simply go here again from CSS, font, image and JS. Just copy everything and then go to our project folder and this should be this one and then inside of the public folder. Okay, let me create a folder here called admin asset. Admin asset and this will hold every file which we just copied and this is responsible for the designs and functionality of front end uh, for the template we're going to use it right next next uh, work is pretty simple all you have to do is we have to go inside of the view folder and inside of the view folder just create another folder called admin or admin template whatever you want to just provide it make it simple and uh, understandable okay understandable like admin means there's going to be all file uh, who is responsible for the admin template right okay then inside of the admin folder let's create another folder called layouts uh, this folder is going to contain all the layouts folder which we need for this project uh, admin folder or admin files or admin pages okay and instead of this layouts folder let me create another file called layout dot blade dot PSP. That's it. And now what I'm going to do is simply uh, go back to that uh, file which we just downloaded. Instead of the static, you guess you get this um, file called page blank dot HTML, which is something like this blank page. We just need this in the layout section. So we're just going to open it into Notepad plus plus 
and uh, yeah copy everything whatever here okay so we just copied them and simply inside of the layouts dot plate dot psv we just paste them okay and then what whatever page we load we want to load that page content inside of this blank section right and every uh, kind of this uh, navigation bar site but navigation bar are going to be same for all the page right so just the content instead of this blank section going to be changed uh, be, uh, based on the page we are browsing no, nothing going to be changed in the sidebar or navbar right all right and to do so just find out the main section and class content and keep the page title we're going to make it dynamic as well and then delete this section we don't need that and right now just make this section yield y i e l d and give it a name and give it name like admin uh, admin layout or give it any name you want to just provide it okay like this and now whenever we just extend this file anywhere and load this admin layout session there that content going to be automatically inject inside of this section and uh, everything going to be loaded there as well now let me link all the CSS and JS file. To link our CSS file, it's pretty straightforward. Using the blade templating, we're going to type here asset. And this asset directly indicate the public folder, okay? And instead of the public folder, we have the folder called admin asset. And instead of the admin asset folder, we have everything, right? So yeah, just copy the thing remain okay paste it like this and it's okay admin asset then css app.css let me show you admin asset css app.css and it's perfect so what we did here just type here inside of the blade template asset and this directly direct to us public folder and instead of this public folder we have admin asset folder and instead of this admin asset folder we have the css folder and instead of the css folder we have the app.css folder this okay now just copy this thing and yeah go below and see if there anything else to link yes js file okay cut the js things and paste after admin asset and all should be okay our layout is set up successfully next day all you have to do is simply go to this admin.blade.php uh, which is right now loading here let me show you this file okay we want to load this inside of our this template now let's do it it's very simple we're just going to do here something like at the rate extend extends okay and what we want to extend here we want to extend the file who is inside of our view folder then admin asset folder and then uh, inside of the admin as not admin asset in the view folder inside of the view folder we have admin folder then inside of the admin folder we have the layouts folder and then inside of the layouts folder we have the file called layout we want to extend that file right instead of the admin folder we have layouts folder inside of the layouts folder we have the layout.blade.php and that file we want to extend simple now type here section okay section and in section and give this section the name which we yield let me show you the admin layout we yield here just just name it here like this and let me type here h3 and admin dashboard now if everything okay we should see this page right now loading inside of this blank page let me show you i'm refreshing it and you can see it's loading perfectly and our theme is working as it need to work i think you guys get the idea right it's very simple and straightforward but the problem here is one single thing we don't want this admin.blade.php file outside of our admin folder so we want it inside of our admin folder just cut it and go to inside of our admin folder and paste it like this now we will see so many error in this space
because view admin not found and that's the reason because in our routes web.php previously we just directly loaded our admin view there right and in order to load the correct one right now all we have to do is we have to write the folders name so admin folder instead of the admin folder we have the admin.blade.php right now this uh, error will go on fine perfect now uh, our routing should not be like this because inside of the admin folder there's going to be so many different files right so many different files so many different pages we want to load everything we want to maintain everything using our middleware so what we're going to do is we're going to set up routing group if you go to laravel 11 documentation and search for routing group you will see a uh, lots of different way you can do the route group we can use middleware we can use controller we can use subdomain routing we can use route prefix and uh, we can use all of them together as well now very fast we're going to use the middleware grouping okay so let's copy the middleware things and go back to our web PSP and now here paste this one before pasting <laughs> let me make a comment here admin routes okay then just paste so we want to give anyone access to our admin dashboard but he need to pass few middlewares and what's going to be that middlewares are the, they're simple let me just copy paste them here they need to be authenticated they need to be verified and they need to have the role manager admin if they have all of these thing then they can access our admin pages now next one you can see right now here I am directly loading the uh, view file admin view this is not the way we do this thing so uh, we're going to create one controller and that controller going to maintain all of the admin things okay so in order to do so open our terminal and type here PSP artisan make controller and our controller name we want this controller instead of the admin folder then this controller name should be admin main controller and that should be okay just paste it like this okay fine this created the controller and instead of this let's type our very first function public function index and this is going to return the view What view we want to return here instead of the admin folder we have the admin.blade.php we want to load it here very simple straightforward now all I have to do is I have to use here another routing group okay and that's going to be controller based routing group this is like that copy this one go back to file and paste it and let me type here our controller our controller name is admin main controller and this should be used directly here fine and after that i delete whatever inside here okay if we want to use another routing group we can use that and you know for every of our admin page there's going to be this slash admin and we can use the uh, route prefix group as well okay so just copy this one like this and simply paste here as well and yeah every of the admin page will have the route prefix of admin and then we can go inside and now type here like admin then whatever just no we don't need this like one so we don't need them so just delete this so you can see in our admin routes first of all they need to pass the middleware then they pass the controller then they pass the prefix and then we can access the routes so first route going to be route get and this route going to be simply dashboard route and this is should be controlled by our index controller inside of our admin Con main controller folder 
and if we want to give it a name just go for it and give it a name of like admin page or dashboard page now everything should be okay if i delete this there should not be any error okay previously we give it a name of admin let me just give it a name of admin as well because otherwise in uh, redirection auto login that's going to be given error so yeah just keep the admin name here now if i go back to our project again and refresh it i should not face any error you can see i'm not facing any error perfect and uh, although i just pass here slash dashboard it's loading perfectly inside where admin dashboard because i passed here a prefix route prefix that is admin so right now this is what it is and tomorrow we will set up all other different pages so we require for our admin panel and then we move forward to our vednode dashboard thank you so much for watching take care bye bye